Et bonsoir tout le monde. Hello everyone. Bonsoir les amis. Hello Anders. Hello. Hello, hello man. Ok, merci beaucoup d'être aussi nombreux les amis. C'est euh, un live inédit. Un live inédit. Hey. Ok. Vous entendez bien, c'est parfait. Alors. All right. Euh... Bonsoir, bonsoir les amis. Good evening everyone. What's up boys? So tonight I'm gonna speak in English and in French. All right? So I'm gonna switch sometimes. Anders, thank you really much for being there, man. I appreciate it a lot. Happy to be here. Yeah, so nice. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, now, les gars, un maximum de racket pour Under, s'il vous plaît. I asked the audience to put some uh, table tennis rackets on ch live chat for you, for being there. They will do it, I guess. Yeah. Awesome. Many, 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 many. many. Hello, Walid. Hello, everyone. Hello, Steph. Hello, Luke. Hello, Adiz. Hello, Dragui. Hello, Tib. Hello, Leche. Hello, Steph. Hello, Walker. Hello Jordi, hello Jason, hello Vince. Bonsoir les amis, bonsoir tout le monde. Vous régalez, vous régalez. Anders, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> What? Uh, ok. I guess uh, thank, I thank my parents for that. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to start in French. I can explain to the people. Donc les amis, yeah. ce soir, on fait une interview de Anders. Euh, on se fait une petite heure, donc ça va être plutôt rapide, on va essayer d'être pertinent. Euh, merci beaucoup déjà d'être aussi nombreux là, ça régale grave. Ok, Alex et LeBron est là, il dit hello. Ah, what's up bro <rire> euh, On va se faire donc sur une heure, on va se faire une demi-heure d'interview, j'ai préparé les petites questions évidemment, et euh, une demi-heure, 20 minutes de questions-réponses avec vous. Donc préparez vos questions pour un peu plus tard. Euh, ce qu'on va faire, Félix est là aussi, il a dit, il a envoyé des rackets, comme hello. Il a promis d'être ici et de me demander une question, donc il va le faire. Nice, nice. Many people there, it's really cool. Les amis, on a Alexis et Félix Lebrun sur le chat, on peut les saluer. Um, merci des follow. Donc, je disais donc, la vingtaine, euh, trentaine de, de minutes à la fin, question-réponse avec vous. Uh, ce qu'on va faire, je sais qu'il y en a qui ne parlent pas trop anglais, c'est que. On va converser euh, Under et moi en anglais, ok et Dès qu'il y a quelque chose, euh, voilà, de, euh, j'essaie de traduire pour vous quand il dit des choses euh, vraiment pertinentes, euh, quand c'est des petits mots faciles, vous, euh, je vous laisse, je vous laisse gérer. Et quand c'est des grosses réponses, euh, j'essaie de traduire. Euh, le, vous avez les sous-titres normalement. Alors j'ai rajouté des sous-titres en anglais. Okay, vous avez juste à cliquer sur le CC en bas du stream, sous-titres. Et en fait, quand Anders va répondre, il y aura les sous-titres en anglais. Alors, ce n'est pas la traduction, okay, mais au moins, il y a les mots anglais qui vont apparaître. Et comme ça, vous savez, euh, vous savez euh, à peu près euh, de quoi il parle. Même si vous ne comprenez pas l'anglais, c'est plus facile d'avoir les mots en, en dessous. Ok, Anders, we're going to begin now. So, everyone is ready, I guess. Alex and Felix as well. Everyone is Good. so happy to have you. Uh, ok, first question to you, Anders. Who are you? Well, my uh, my name is Anders. I'm from uh, I'm from Denmark, and uh, in the last few years in the in the table tennis world, I have been dubbed kind of the guy that is uh, is a little bit crazy, uh, and it also shows on the court with the uh, with some of the shots that I make. Uh, that is uh, that is who I am. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, how are you? Like, do you feel fine actually? Yeah, I'm great. Yeah. Great. A uh, little bit rest now. Uh, the the last time before Paris, before the Olympics, that I can take some days off without table tennis, and uh, then in a few days I will start practicing again and prepare for the Rio de Janeiro contender. Okay. Donc là, il va, il, il a un peu de repos. Il se prépare bientôt pour faire le le contender Rio de Janeiro. Um, okay. 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 So um. I'm always asking the same question to the pro athletes that are coming on the live. Um, the question is, when did you start table tennis and how? Why, why did you start this sport? It's because my, uh, my parents both played, but uh, quite like low level. 
but that meant that we had a table in the, in our house when I was a kid. So my dad would, uh, you know, already when I was four or five years old, he would bring me to the table and play a little bit with me while I was standing on one chair. And, uh, and then it started, uh, it started from there. Okay. Donc, il a commencé parce que ses parents euh, en faisaient à un petit niveau tranquille. Ils avaient une table euh, chez eux. So, you, you start table tennis like uh, at five, six years old? Yeah, six. six. Six, I would say, is when I started like going to club practices uh, and, uh, and playing consistently. Ok. Donc, il a commencé à six ans uh, au ping. And you, you start in Denmark, of course, but in which city? In uh, Vilbeck. It's a, it's a small city, but it's quite close to Copenhagen. So okay. In the Copenhagen area. All right. All right. All right. So you start pretty pretty young, actually. Um, all right. So uh, where are you right now, and where do you train? I mean, when do you where live? I am and, right now? Yeah. Where do you live? And where, where do you train? Well, I uh, normally I uh, I am a lot of the time in in Germany practicing, and uh, when I'm not practicing there, I'm in Denmark with the national team in our center. Okay, donc je demandais où est-ce qu'il jouait, où est-ce qu'il s'entraînait, où est-ce qu'il vivait, et donc il euh, il vit au, en Allemagne, il s'entraîne en Allemagne de temps en temps, il est au Danemark avec l'équipe nationale. So, um, what do you train in Germany? In which city? Saarbrücken. Sometimes I'm there, and so, uh, okay. otherwise I am in Denmark. Okay. À Sarbouken. Ils s'entraînent à Sarbouken. Donc, euh, euh, Sarbouken, c'est le club de Patrick Francesca. Is it the Francesca Club, Sarbouken? Yeah, but he's yeah. not there so often. Ok. Ok. Et, uh, so, do you train with. Who are the, the professional players you're training with? In Denmark, we have uh, Antoine Achard, mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan Groth, myself, and uh, then we have Iba, Iba Dia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Many uh, French, sometimes. right? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's the French center, I guess. It's yeah, like... <laughs> il y a beaucoup de Français. Um, Antoine Achard et Brian Maggio. Yeah. yeah. So maybe and, you, you're uh, gonna you're gonna learn some French French sentences. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I, I, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, next question is Anders. So you, you've been professional for like three years right now, I guess, something like this. Um, oh, a little bit more. But, yeah, more. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your goal in table tennis? So I, I'm just going to translate to the people. Uh, donc là, ça fait un peu plus de trois ans qu'il est professionnel. Je lui demande quel est son objectif dans le ping pong. I mean, I don't really have a goal in like, oh, I want to hit that world ranking. I want to make that result. I, I more have the goal that I just want to take one day at a time, do my best to improve, and uh, hopefully, in that way, I will reach my potential. And if my potential is number 15 in the world or number five or whatever it is, I don't know. But as long as at the end of the day, I'm happy with my own performance in the practice, then, uh, then that's okay for me. Okay. Donc, il n'a pas d'objectif vraiment de précis de classement ou, ou de résultat. Il veut juste euh, euh, bien jouer, être, euh, donner la meilleure version de soi-même, en gros, à, à l'entraînement et en match. Quoi. Um, all right, that's interesting. Um, next question is like, you know, I, I, I put an Instagram story like, uh, send me your, your questions for Anders. And many questions are, what is your equi equipment? <laughs> I, I will, I, I will just show it. I mean, yeah. I have it right here. Donc, je vais demander quel est son matériel. Eh? Donnie? Uh, uh, a second. <sighs> Il est parti chercher sa raquette. Ouais, donc elle est sous-titre en, en anglais hein, euh, en dessous. N'hésitez pas, alors je sais. Euh... So we have the the backhand rubber. Ok. So uh, what, it's what? Blue, Blue Star A1. Blue, Blue Star A1. Ok, I'm gonna write it. So this is backhand. We have, yeah, we have the forehand rubber. It's Blue Grip C2. I guess it's hard to read. Blue Star. Ok. Um, Grip. And I play with a original true carbon. Original true carbon. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, do you often change your rubber? Like one one week, two weeks? 
I mean, on, on average, I think, uh, I think a little bit more often than one week. Ok, donc il change un peu plus que, euh, que, que un jeu par semaine, quoi. On se souvient de Ibrahim Adjo qui disait qu'il changeait tous les 10 jours. Flo aussi. Flo Bourrasso. Ok. Um, so, you know, Anders, I, I am a table tennis coach. Um, so, I'm gonna. I, I'm wondering what do you think about. Uh, what is for you a good coach? Like, uh, what, what do you expect from a coach? Uh, I'm gonna just translate. Sorry. Je viens de lui demander donc euh, la fameuse question euh, qu'est-ce qu'il pense euh, pour lui euh, ce qu'est être un bon coach donc voilà que, quelles sont les qualités pour lui qu'un coach doit avoir thank you Anders. for me there are like two things that make a coach great one of them is that they have to understand what you need individually as a player on the on the mental side like they need to be able to know when to support you but they also know, have to know when they need to push you and on the other hand of course you need a coach that is good technically and can teach you how to improve in the different shots or in the different movements that you have to learn and if a coach has all these things then for me it's uh it's a very good coach okay um donc là il parle de deux aspects il parle de l'aspect mental et de l'aspect la, technique euh, et pour lui, euh, un, un, bon, un bon entraîneur, un bon coach, c'est quelqu'un qui doit et, et te pousser mentalement et te pousser techniquement. Uh, do you think um, a good coach need to be as well like a friend for you or like a father or something like this? Mm, no, I don't think so. But but for me now with our coach in Denmark, this this is definitely how I feel with him. Uh, that, that, that like, okay, he's not family, but like, he means a lot to me and, and he's always doing like so good for me. And I, I really love him as a coach, but I think in general, it's not necessary to, to have a, what can you say? It, it's also okay only to have a professional relationship as mm -hmm. well. Okay. Donc, j'ai demandé s'il si, euh, pensait qu'il fallait être un peu pote avec son coach. Euh, J'aime bien, moi, ce genre de questions. Et il dit que, euh, il dit que euh, pas, pas nécessairement, mais que là, son entraîneur au Danemark, et je vais lui demander qui c'est, du coup, parce que je n'ai pas demandé, euh, et ben, il ressent vraiment ça. Il est vraiment très proche de son entraîneur. So, who is your coach in Danemark? Uh, his name is uh, Linus Mernstein. He is uh, he's from Sweden. Okay. And he, uh, he was former Swedish uh, youth coach. Then he was in Luxembourg, in England. And now he's in Denmark for the last 10 years, I think. Eight years, 10 years. Okay, so you speak Danish or you speak in English? Um, no, we, I mean, he, he's speaking Swedish and we're speaking Danish. But because we've worked together for so long, we understand each other. Okay. <rire> euh, donc son entraîneur c'est Linus c'est un, un Suédois qui a entraîné l'équipe euh, euh, jeune de Suède et qui est au Danemark pour, euh, depuis maintenant 10 ans. So, um, he's going to be your coach on, on Olympic Games Yes. Ok, ça sera son, son coach du coup au, au jeu de Paris 2024. Ok, and that's, that's interesting. Um, I have a question about, about your YouTube channel. Um, oh. I, I, will do, I will do it in French first. Uh, donc yeah. là, je, je vais lui poser la question. Uh, vous savez que Anders Lint a un, un, une chaîne YouTube uh, où il met pas mal de vidéos de lui en train de jouer, etc. Euh, et autre chose aussi, notamment la qualification au jeu avec l'équipe du Danemark. Donc je lui demande pourquoi est-ce qu'il a créé cette chaîne YouTube et est-ce qu'il la gère tout seul Parce qu'on sait que c'est très chronophage et Ibrahim Adjou nous en parlait, donc c'est intéressant. So, uh, why, did you, why did you create your YouTube channel and do you handle uh, it on your own and do you have people that help you on this I mean, the, the reason I made it was actually, if you, if you look at the first video I ever posted, I, I posted a trick shot video back in 2018 or 19. And I... I am a little bit of a gamer and I, I really like being online and this like watching YouTube myself. So I always had motivation to try and make some videos. And then I made one uh, and then for some reason I stopped. I don't really know why. And, um, and then after World Championship last year, uh, because I had a, uh, a, a good result, a lot of people started asking me questions for advice. And I was thinking it will take less time to you know make a video and then everyone can see so i just took the most asked questions and turned them into videos to try and help more people with the more efficient time usage 
Ok. Euh, donc, il avait commencé, il a posté une première vidéo euh, sur des trick shots euh, avec son revers en 2018-2019. Après, il a arrêté et il euh, y a certaines, euh, des gens qui lui ont demandé euh, des conseils pour euh, justement faire ces trick shots-là. Et en gros, il s'est dit, bah, au lieu de, de leur répondre, je vais refaire des vidéos. Et voilà, ça a continué. Uh, I didn't hear your answer, but um, the fact that are you do it in, uh, alone or do you have people? Ah, uh, uh, I mean, I, uh, I, I bought now a, a camera. And then when I need someone to help me film, I, I maybe ask someone in the hall or I ask my friend. And then, uh, then we film and then I take the material back home. And then I have one friend who is, who is very good with the uh, editing and stuff and then we sit together and we kind of shape the material that we have into a video that we both think is uh, good and then we we post it so okay. yes short answer i do have a friend who's helping me ok ok donc oui, il est aidé par un ami mais bon ils font ça à deux euh, non gaston uh, anders ne dit pas le chat c'est moi qui vais choisir les, qui vais sélectionner les questions après um, all right So we now we just finished the uh, the funny part. No, I mean we just finished the the serious part, and we're going uh, to enter in the funny part. Um, sure. <laughs> my first funny question is, what do you think? I, I will do it in French first. Sorry. Uh, donc là, donc vous avez vu, on doit aller assez vite. Hein. On est un peu pris par le temps. Donc uh, um, je lirai vos questions évidemment après, et on les uh, on les posera à Anders. Uh, la question, les amis. La suivante, ça va être qu'est-ce qu'il pense du circuit WTT Voilà. Qu'est-ce qu'il pense du circuit WTT, tout simplement Ok, so the question is what do you think about WTT I think that WTT has presented us to many really amazing ideas. But I do believe that the, the result that has come from it has not been what they or we had expected so um i i really admire and uh, i think it's great what they're trying to do and i think they have to continue trying to do these things but i think they have to change a little bit the path they're taking um and then it will be better if if they can manage to do that ok donc il dit que la wtt est arrivé avec beaucoup de beaucoup de bonnes idées mais que malheureusement, il euh, n'y a pas tout qui a été mis en place. Et il dit que s'il peut vraiment mettre les bonnes idées en place, bah, ça peut être mieux. So, je vais lui demander là, de quoi il parle. Ok, so, um, what do you think W2T can improve to, uh, to for, for you, the players? What can be better? I think, first of all, they have to change the seeding system. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it uh, that uh, some of these tournaments, for example, Grand Smash, that they only have 16 seats and that champions only have eight. It, I, I believe that they should have uh, more seating so that, you know, the, the right. people that are ranked higher are more likely to get a draw. Because now we are seeing a good example in the last time is Trolls. The, the draws Trolls has been getting, even though he's quite high ranked, is, is, is really, this is... Uh, This should not happen, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, this is one. This is probably one of the thing, things I think they need to change the most. The, the seeding system. Ok. Donc là, il parle des, des têtes de série, hein, seeding system. Euh, selon lui, il faut que ça soit changé. Il y en a, il y en a 8 en, en champions, il y en a 16 en, en star. Euh, et il parle de l'exemple de Trulls, euh, qui, euh, qui a un bon classement, mais euh, qui tombe contre des grosses têtes de série parce qu'il n'est pas, il est pas dans les meilleurs à chaque fois. Euh, ok. Do you think? Sorry, I'm gonna. <laughs> I want to ask you this question uh, because you know I I, um, I talk a lot with Simon Simon Gozi. Yes. And uh, he often says uh, cash prize on WTT are not enough. I mean, it's it's really really expensive. What do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, I I can't. I can't have so much an, an opinion about that because I don't know the economics behind the, the organization that is hosting the tournaments. I don't know how much money they have to actually give to the prize money because, of course, table tennis is not viewed nearly as much as the tennis tournaments or the basketball matches. So, of course, the money is also going to be significantly less. But 
I, I think the, the money now that they, they tried with the Smash and the Champions, that the, the money is actually not so bad. But if you are looking at, for example, the feeders and the contenders, this is um, very close to disgraceful. Um, mm -hmm. I, I can tell, I because I won a feeder last year in Czech, and I lost money that tournament. Yeah, yeah. Same and happens. This I, this I don't think should happen. You know that you that you go, you win a tournament, but the travel expenses succeed the prize money that you win. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, got it. Um, donc il a pas trop, enfin euh, il il peut pas trop se se pas se mouiller, mais répondre objectivement à la question euh, de est-ce qu'il devrait augmenter les cash prizes parce que il sait pas trop. Euh, combien de euh, combien de d'argent la WTT a à mettre dans les cash prizes donc il sait pas trop il trouve que sur les sur les euh, smash et sur les champions euh, ça va et par contre effectivement sur les contenders sur les feeders c'est pas assez euh, il trouve que ça manque de respect ça avec lui du coup il en a fait les frais il a gagné un feeder l'année dernière et euh, il a perdu de l'argent ok euh... Next question, Anders, is my favorite. And I know, I think we can speak about it like for one hour. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I'm, I am a coach. I'm a table tennis coach. I, I really uh, put some importance in the serve. I mean, to, to follow the rules, right? I think you got me now. Um, yes. <laughs> so my... One of my main goal on table tennis is like everything needs to follow good rules on service yes. and, and stop to, um, to cheat on this. Yes. So my question is, um, so what do you think about, about hidden serves? Like, and uh, what do you think we can, our referees can do or we can do uh, to improve this side that I think is really concert of our sport? Uh, actually, I, uh, yesterday I went in the hall and I, I filmed the video about illegal serves where okay. I am also on the topic that your question is. It's not out yet. We're still, but, but yeah, so we could definitely talk for more than an hour yeah. on this topic. Um, what, but what needs to be done that it doesn't go more up and up because yeah, it is com becoming a problem in the sport. Um, there are, there are two ways how I see it. Mm -hmm. One the umpires need to be more brave. They, they need to follow their instincts that if they think a serve is mm, questionable or if they outright think it's wrong, they need to take the point. And if you then make the same serve again, they need to take your point again. Because I spoke to a lot of umpires also where I'm asking them after a match because I saw them umpiring against someone who was serving illegal. And I go and I ask them, you know, Why do you not take that serve? It's illegal, no? And and some of them are telling like, ah, yeah, but I don't want to disturb the play and this and that. You need to okay. take it. You know, mm -hmm. if you're an umpire, you are you practice and you are taught what is legal and illegal. If it's illegal, you have to take the serve. Mm -hmm. So umpires, please, if I serve <laughs> illegal, take my serve. Take my serve. It's it's fine, but also take everyone else's if it's illegal. Um, the other way, the other thing that they can do. Because also when I made this video, uh, I had one umpire send me the list of rules for serving legal in mm -hmm. the ITTF handbook. And there are a lot of rules. And I am 100% sure when I say this, that in the men's top 100 right now, if you look at the rules like really black and white, there are not more than a few players who are serving legally. Everyone is doing something that is not like allowed in the rules so and i think many of those rules are not actually they're not giving you an unfair advantage so i think umpires need to set the foot down and start taking massive amounts of serves to actually force people to make legal serves or wtt slash ittf they need to with these rules alter them or m change them a little bit so that it is not so strict rules for making a legal service. Mm -hmm. Okay, got, got you. Uh, okay, this transition is going to be long. Okay, don't, don't yeah, be surprised. Yeah, it's fine. Um, donc, c'est marrant puisque que je lui pose la question sur les services cachés, puisque um, il a tourné une vidéo hier dessus sur YouTube. Donc, uh, évidemment, on ira voir ça et on ira commenter ça. 
Euh, il voit euh, les choses euh, sous deux façons. C'est pas évident de passer de l'anglais au français, les gars. Désolé si, si je, je bégaye un peu. Il voit les choses euh, sous deux façons. Euh, la première, c'est par rapport aux arbitres. Euh, pour lui, les arbitres doivent être beaucoup plus courageux. Euh, et donc, euh, vraiment intervenir et ne pas avoir peur euh, quand un adversaire ou quelqu'un sert faux. Euh, voilà, et il dit même si moi je sers faux, vous prenez mon service, il n'y a pas de souci, mais si l'autre sert faux, vous prenez aussi son service, quoi. En gros, et il avait posé la question à un arbitre national, enfin international, en disant euh, pourquoi son service, on sait très bien qu'il est faux, pourquoi vous faites dites rien Et l'arbitre lui aurait répondu c'est pour pas déranger le jeu, en, en gros. Euh, et la deuxième option qu'il voit, c'est euh, que en fait, les, le, le règlement est très, très, enfin, il y a beaucoup de règles par rapport au service, c'est très strict. Et. Euh, et donc, il dit que dans le top 100 monde euh, chez les garçons, il y en a très très peu qui servent correctement euh, tout parfait. Euh, et donc, euh, pour lui, peut-être que la WTT ou l'ITTF doit revoir un peu ces règles-là pour, euh, pour les rendre un peu, euh, un peu, plus, un peu plus souples. Et, euh, et je fais un clin d'œil à, à Monkey Pong qui a sorti une vidéo là-dessus euh, très récemment aussi. Euh, Alright. Euh... Thank you, that's really interesting. Uh, I think I share you, your point of view about the umpires. Um, they really, I mean, they need to do our, uh, they, their job. I mean, yes. just do it, it's okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think I agree with you. Um, and I also agree with you about the rules. Uh, when, you, when you see, uh, for example, badminton rules, uh, it's, it's like one point or two points only. You know, on table tennis, we have 10 points, 15 30. 30. 30, ok. Il y, a, il y a 14 points de règlement à appliquer sur le, sur le service, alors que au badminton, il y en a, il y en a beaucoup moins, quoi, par exemple. Um, <coughs> Alright, on else. That's all. I mean, no, not last, but we close. Um, what is your, your best player of all time? Your, 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 your goat? My goat? Yeah. Uh... I, 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 I don't know. I don't really have one. If I have, if I have to choose one, first thought is Sang Jike. Mm -hmm. And this is because I believe the, the highest, the highest level that has ever been in table tennis, the highest peak was Sang Jike in, uh, in 2013, in 2013. I totally 2013. agree with you, man. Every, every time I ask this question, um, at least some people say Malong, Malong. All right, Malong, Malong, is, of... Malong is the goat, but yeah. for me, Sang Yik's peak was higher than Malong's peak. Okay, I, I uh, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. It was, I mean, okay, he was strong player Sang Yik, but he he also, um, I mean, he he changed the uh, the way uh, how we play in table tennis worldwide. Yes. And um, you know, when he when he he dropped off his T-shirt in 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 Rotterdam, it was incredible. Like only God can do this. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I agree with you. And uh, if you have a woman, yeah, for example, also, also it's from him. You know, he kicked all these barriers when he won the world. Yeah, Cup. yeah, yeah. I kicked the TV, so you know, it's you know, I'm <laughs> kind of a fan. Uh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Donc euh, son meilleur joueur euh, préfère son son préféré quoi, c'est Zangiku. Hein. Il dit que le le meilleur niveau de Zangiku est au-dessus du meilleur niveau que de Malong. Je, je suis d'accord avec lui. Um, ok, this year you, you were playing in, in Caen, in France. Um, uh, what is uh, for you the strongest European championship? What, what do you mean? I mean, uh, for example, do you think Bundesliga is stronger than French League? Ah, the, the strongest European yeah. league? Yeah. Last year, the Bundesliga was a quite big difference from French League because that Germany had so many top players where France, we only had a few. But now this year, when you look at the new players that has joined the league with the with the two lovely brothers <laughs> and uh, Lim Jong-hun and Freites and uh, Pitchford and all this, I, I actually think if you look on the average level in the French league now and the German league now, it's really, really like it's the same. Uh, I, I think it's the same. OK. Donc, j'ai demandé ce qu'il pensait que le niveau de la, du championnat français était 
plus élevé euh, ou pas par rapport au championnat allemand. Et il a dit l'année dernière, euh, le championnat allemand était plus fort. Et là, cette année, avec euh, tous les nouveaux joueurs, Pitchford, Ling Jong-un, euh, Freitas, euh, évidemment nos deux frères Alex et Félix. Je pense que c'est le même niveau entre la France et, uh, et l'Allemagne. Um, ok, last question. So, uh, why you, what are you gonna do next year, next season? Do you stay in Caen or do you leave? No, I, I am going to Dortmund. They are, they are going up from second Bundesliga to first Bundesliga, okay. and they will have their first season ever nice. in, the, in the first league. And I will join them for next season. Ok. Donc, il, il quitte quand cette année Je vais demander en ce qu'il faisait l'année prochaine. Il quitte quand cette année et, euh, et il rejoint Dortmund en Bundesliga. Ils étaient en deuxième division et ils montent en première division. Ok, Anders, thank you very much. Uh, we finished the, the classic interview now. Uh, people are going to ask their question on live chat. I'm going to read you some of and uh, just try to answer it. Fine for you Sure. Nice. Ok, les gars. Um, C'est le moment de poser vos questions, des questions pertinentes. Euh, en français, si vous voulez, ou en anglais, c'est encore mieux. Mais sinon, je voulais traduire en, en anglais, il n'y a pas de souci. Um, ok, first question. Do you think um, people came to French League um, thanks to LeBron's brother? I believe that there were a few Chinese in the league this year, and they were mainly there for playing against the brothers. But the other players, no, I, I, I don't believe. They came because of, uh, because of them. Ok, donc non, ils ne pensent pas. Est -ce qu est -ce qu euh, la question a été posée est-ce qu'ils <coughs> euh, pensaient que c'était grâce au frère Lebrun qu'il y a eu plus de bons joueurs cette année en, en, en Pro A Il dit que non, pas forcément. Il y a eu des joueurs chinois aussi. Donc euh, voilà. Euh, ok. Euh, plus important pour lui, gagner la Pro A ou un WTT Ok. Um, what is the. I mean, the most important thing for you between uh, winning the French Championship or winning a WTT? Winning WTT. Okay. That's <laughs> nice, nice answer. I love it. Yeah, but I, I mean, I mean, both. I would, I would give my right hand to to win either. Uh, I, I've luckily already won the French Championship and I've won the at WTT, not one of the big ones, but. I mean, we are playing in a single sport, so when we look at what result, you know, we, I, I have to take the WTT. Okay. Okay. Same question between uh, winning the Champions League with Dortmund, for example, or winning a WTT Champions. Okay. If you had said WTT feeder, I will take Champions League. <laughs> but winning a Champions, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, next season I'm gonna completely try and kill everyone to to win stuff with my team but i i have to pick the champions i have to ok um, donc là je lui demandé est-ce qu'il préférait gagner un, un WTT champions ou une ligue des champions avec son club donc il a dit elle a le WTT champions quand même même s'il donnera tout avec son club for, enfin évidemment um, ok question intéressante Capia Sav Um, someone said, hi Anders, um, it's hard sometimes for us to actually compare women level and men level. Uh, if you should give your opinion, a top three, do you think a top three woman could defeat a uh, top 100 men, top 50 men, something? No, normally I, on this topic, I answer, I plead the fifth or no comment. <laughs> um, okay, all right. But, uh, you, you... but okay, when you say top three women, so this is Sun Ying Sha. Mm -hmm. And it's Wang Man Yu and Cheng Meng. Yeah. 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 I think if you look at the men's between 50 and 100, I think it's very play style based that if they play against a man that plays simple and in a tempo that is, uh, that is something that they can deal with, yes, I believe they can win. But if they are playing against a men's player who is playing a little bit weird or is playing with really strong power or a lot of spin then i believe they will not win because they have never practiced okay. or played matches regularly against this type of uh, this type of play style mm -hmm. okay gotcha um, donc là on a posé la question est-ce qu'ils pensent que uh, top 3 des filles donc les, les trois chinoises uh, peuvent battre uh, les meilleurs mondiaux chez les garçons et il dit en fait que ça, ça dépend beaucoup des, des systèmes de jeu donc uh, il pense my answer que... was too long again no it's okay uh, my, 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 okay. my answer Yes, they can beat some men in the top 100. For sure, they can. <laughs> okay. 
Donc voilà, il dit qu'elles euh, peuvent, elles peuvent battre du sang, du, sang, euh, du sang mondial chez les garçons et c'est beaucoup au système de jeu. Donc euh, selon lui, il y a des systèmes de jeu qui sont plus adéquats pour elles, euh, évidemment qu'elles pourront gagner. Ou des systèmes de jeu avec beaucoup de puissance ou beaucoup de rotation, ce euh, serait un peu plus compliqué. Euh, je lui posais la question, est-ce qu'il pense qu'il y a euh, trop de compétition WTT dans la saison uh, Do you think... Um, There is, there are too many uh, WTT tournament in the season. Mm, I believe with the ranking system, how it is right now, then no, there should be many every season. But I think it's, it's very simple that when the, when the prize money for playing the top tournaments is not really, it's not really what table tennis players make a living off. It's not the tournaments. We have our club then it's way too many tournaments for the money that they are paying because it's basically like a full-time job playing WTT tournaments and fighting for a high ranking. But our, what can you say, where we get our money to live off from is from the club. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's tricky. It's a, it's a tricky question. It's a very, very good question. But it's, it's very complicated for me to, uh, to give an answer to that question. Ok, donc euh, je lui demandais s'il pensait qu'il y avait trop de... Ah, si, je ne sais pas si j'ai dit en français. S'il y avait trop de compétitions WTT et il dit qu'avec le système de classement, euh, il doit y en avoir beaucoup. Euh, parce que plus tu joues, en fait, euh, plus tu seras mieux classé. Bon, ça c'est moi qui le dis, c'est pas lui. <rire> et euh, et euh, en fait, ce qui est compliqué, c'est qu'effectivement, c'est les clubs qui payent et que la saison au club, bah, elle est très chronophage. Euh, et donc il dit que c'est une très bonne question. Il ne pas... peut pas trop répondre, il ne sait pas trop quoi répondre à ça pour l'instant. Um, I know in Denmark, um, it's a question. I know in Denmark, de, je lui pose la question. Um, au Danemark, est-ce que le ping est un sport populaire parce qu'il y a beaucoup de badminton? Um, donc je vais lui poser la question. Uh, quelle est la position du, du ping uh, au Danemark? Um, yeah, so I know in Denmark, um, one of the most popular uh, sport is badminton. Yes. Uh, so, oh, what about table tennis? Do, do Dan Danish people like this sport or, or what? In, in, in Denmark, we, in table tennis, we struggle a little bit because in other sports, we have so good results that even when we reach quarterfinal world championship, both in singles and teams in the last two years in Denmark, it, it, it's not really getting anything uh, because we get gold in handball I think actually we beat also France a lot of times in handball, yeah, in important matches. Um, uh, and the uh, handball and badminton are <coughs> taking a lot of uh, like the love from the public and sports away from table tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, table tennis is really, it's it's not popular. It's not, not so many new players are starting and it's, it's, it's in a bad situation in Denmark, really. <coughs> okay. Donc, euh, c'est un peu le même problème que nous en France, c'est que le badminton et le, et le hand euh, prennent beaucoup de place dans leur, dans leur pays. Et donc, euh, donc, le ping est un peu euh, derrière en termes de, de visibilité. Euh, c'est un, euh, un peu comme nous en France. Euh, il pense quoi des dernières formules de match qui coupe du monde euh, What do you think about the, the playing system of the mixed world team champion, world team cup, I guess In Chengdu, the mixed world team cup. Yeah, uh, I, I think it was a very interesting concept. I, I think it was. Uh, I think it's a very, very funny and good idea, um, and that they. Sh I think they should continue to to bring ideas like this because it's a little bit different. And for me, I think different is fun. So, uh, so I, 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 I was enjoying watching this. I think it was a nice tournament. I think it was a cool idea. Okay. Euh, donc il a, il a bien aimé la formule euh, Il a dit tout ce qui est différent, ce qui change un peu Il aime bien et euh, il, a, il a pris du plaisir à regarder la compète Et euh, ouais je suis assez d'accord aussi um, Hello, how was your experience uh, At Quanti TC um, So that's just the question How do you enjoy Quanti TC I mean the, the, the teammates I had And the, the club Like the coach and manager Really like They were so nice. I really enjoyed uh, 
having a season with them. They were awesome people and uh, great teammates. Uh, it was just we we had a very bad season with the team, but uh, in general, the people there were were really amazing, and it was uh, it was an honor to be there for for this season. Okay. Il a vraiment adoré sa saison au camp euh, TTC, euh, des, euh, des gens incroyables, les partenaires euh, d'équipe, euh, le staff, et, euh, il a pris beaucoup de plaisir à être euh, au club de camp, voilà. Um, I have the same question about the um, playing system of the last World Cup, you know, about the, when yeah. you were in Ron Robin, you can have a 2-2 two, two match, uh, so what do you think about it Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> It was. It was. Uh, it was. I, I think it was horrible. I. I don't think a sport like table tennis should have the possibility of a draw, or that you know. That. that I, if, yeah. If, I totally uh, agree. I, I. I. I don't like this. I. I think the. The. the I think I, again. It's a new idea. It's an interesting concept. But this. This one. I. I disagree with strongly, and I don't think it should be uh, tried again. Okay. Donc, euh, je lui ai demandé ce qu'il pensait du, du système de, de jeu, de la, fin, du, du système de comptage de la Coupe du Monde. Où vous saviez, on, pouvait, on jouait en, euh, les poules en 4 manches secs. Euh, du coup, euh, il peut y avoir 2-2 de ou 3-1 ou 4-0. Donc, il dit que c'est horrible. Euh, et je suis entièrement d'accord avec lui. Il dit qu'un autre sport comme le ping euh, ne peut pas avoir des matchs nuls. Quoi. Euh, effectivement, merci pour tous les follow, les amis. Vous régalez. Euh... Many questions there. I'm gonna choose. Uh, ok, I have one. Interesting. Um, okay, imagine you are in, in a in a match, right? Uh, you have a set set point against you, but you are saving. Okay, do you try to do you try to surprise your opponent by a new serve, or do you use the the serve that work uh, the best all the set long? I more often than not, I believe you have to try and play. Like you have to try and make the best odds for you to win the point. So I think you should normally, for me, normally I want to go with what has worked in the match that will most likely give me the chance to win the point. I will not try something new or something that I haven't done in the match yet. Okay. Euh, donc j'ai demandé s'il avait un, un balle de 7 contre lui. Euh, est-ce qu'il, c'est lui qui sait, est-ce qu'il il essaye un nouveau service Il innove, il a un truc qu'il a jamais essayé. Ou est-ce qu'il est sur du serveur euh... Euh, du, sur du service euh, euh, qui a marché euh, plus ou moins dans le match et donc il dit qu'il préfère servir euh, euh, avec euh, le service qui a le plus marché dans le match et euh, voilà il dit que euh, tu dois avoir les meilleures chances pour toi pour gagner, euh, pour gagner ce point là quoi euh... <rire> on a vu une vidéo avec sa copine pour lui elle joue combien mondial ok we saw a video uh, of you and your girlfriend um, for you What is her world ranking? <laughs> oh, you... No, you're not married yet. Are you fiancé? No, I'm, I'm married. Oh, you're married. Girlfriend. Okay, I, I'm just no. writing. I'm just reading. <laughs> okay, I know, my, I know. My I, budget. I'm just joking, you know? Yeah, my budget. Uh, okay, congratulations. That's cool. I'm, I mean... There you go. How long have you been married? Two years. Okay, that's interesting. My budget... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not your bad. It's the I guy who wrote awful. the comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But now, now you know. Yeah. Um, now we know. Everyone her, knows. Her her world ranking, her highest world ranking was 80. Okay, 80 mondial. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. Right. Um. <laughs> do, do you know some uh, someone called Berg in the in the chat? Okay, you're not. Il n'a pas le chat. You, you don't have the chat on, on, on your face, but um, no. the, the question is high unders. Some athletes like uh, like to drink Red Bull to perform, like Jamie Vardy in football. Do you prefer water or Red Bull? No, oh, I'll take a Red Bull, bro. Like, <laughs> oof. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I uh, that, that is one of the if the things that you know you you shouldn't do it, but you do it because it makes you happy. Yeah. For me, my uh, my weakness is uh, is a cold Red Bull. I I can't resist. Ok, <rire> donc il, il boirait du Red Bull à la place de l'eau plate euh, yeah. avant les compétitions. Euh, alors, merci pour toutes les questions les amis, c'est intéressant, c'est très intéressant, il nous reste allez, petite ouais. dizaine de minutes. Cheers, uh, yeah to, uh, Yeah, cheers I'm drinking water, you're drinking Red Bull, all right. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> um, okay, one one tricky question. Um, I mean, okay, that's not the question, but I will uh, I will do it my my way. Um, you know, in in France, we have oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone has uh, offered five subs. Hold on, hold on. Thank you, Gulubi. Merci, Gulubi. Merci, merci. Les cinq subs, tu es égal comme d'habitude, mon VIP préféré. Um, okay. So you know, in in France, uh, I mean, you know, in Olympic Games, you have only two two spots for the single um, yes. single uh, seating. And um, in France, we have a question about uh, Alexis Lebrun or Simon Gozzi. That that is really really complicated choice, to be honest. Um, yes, it is. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, what is your point of view? I mean, who do you think should compete in this single? I I can't comment on that. I can't. I understand. They they are both they are both great players and they both have the level and they deserve to play the Olympic singles. But they are too many good players from one country. They they both deserve it equally, I believe. Okay, all right, got you. Oh, again, again, someone offer five subs. Tib, Tib Novkat, thank you so much, my man. Merci beaucoup, Tib, for the cinq subs. C'est la régalade, les amis. C'est le train de live, c'est maintenant. C'est uh, Underslin, c'est maintenant. Okay, um, all right. Uh, okay, let's let's do again like five or ten minutes. Um, any question there? It's really interesting. I, I, I enjoy our moment right now. Um, let me read some. Okay, what do you think? Uh, I'm gonna read it in French. Uh, Qu'est-ce qu'il pense de son jeu? Quelles sont ses plus grosses qualités? Et ses points faibles. On va, on va s'arrêter là. Um, um, if you can analyze your game, uh, what do you think uh, is your, your best, uh, best shot? And what do you think is your worst shot? I think my my worst shot is receiving. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Felix can confirm. Last time we played, he won eighty two percent in his own serve. Um, I I have problems receiving uh, right handed servers sometimes. Okay. So the the forehand receive is one of my weakest shots for sure. And uh, my strongest is if it's i mean where i win the most points it's my, my serve is very strong um because many players have problem reading the spin and even when they receive it okay i know that's what they're gonna do so it's an easy ball to attack so i'm gonna say service okay receive is worst service is best all right uh, donc j'ai demandé son point fort et son point faible en jeu et il dit qu'il c'est un très bon serveur donc son point fort c'est le service et, euh, et la remise, notamment la remise court coup droit, il dit que la dernière fois qu'il a joué contre Félix, bah, il a pas mal graille. Euh, le service, c'est donc euh, la remise. La remise, c'est son point faible. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna thanks because many, many people are, are following and sub subscribing to the channel right now, Anders. Uh, oui. Merci. I mean, you know, on Twitch, we have uh, some subscribe thing that people I, can... Yeah, yeah, you know it? I, Do... I know how everything works online. I, I am completely into everything. Uh, okay. My life is... Uh, it's mainly online. All right. So, do you know um, you know Twitch? You know the platform? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of okay. Course. And so many people like um, are offering and uh, giving subscribes uh, f like five and five and five and five. Uh, so I'm gonna Good. just f yeah. Thanks. Uh, merci Thank beaucoup. You, Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Uh, merci Walid pour tes cinq uh, tes cinq subs offerts. Ça régale. Euh, merci Alex, mon modo. Merci Tib, merci Gulubi. On est à 20 subs offerts, les amis. C'est incroyable. Merci beaucoup. Ok, people say that's for you, Anders. Uh, yeah. they, people say that's for you. They they giving away some subscribing, you know. Ah, that's uh, that's very <laughs> kind of you. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh, ok, les amis, vos questions, vos questions. Ask a question, guys. It's now no or never for Anders, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I mean, I mean, I just we have many questions. I just uh, can't read everything. Um, yeah, je sais qu'il y a beaucoup de questions, uh, les gars, mais c'est compliqué. Renvoie la tienne, Riz. Okay, um, okay. Uh, someone asking, what are your favorite YouTube channels? Uh. 
there is a, I mean, I, I really like Pongfinity, the, the table tennis channel. I'm yeah. sure a lot of you know. Yeah, I mean, that they have managed to grow something that is about table tennis to the size they have. I, I really respect this and I think they've done an amazing job. Then I, um, then I really like, uh, I like one uh, gaming streamer. He's, uh, he's called the Baus FFS. He's playing a League of Legends. Oh, okay. I, I really like his channel. I play the game as well and I like watching him. I think he's very funny. All right. Uh, so is it a Danish one? No, no, he, he's he's Swedish, but it, it's like an English channel. But okay. I, I I watch everything he makes. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, but he loves Pongfinity, and he's a streamer, a um, streamer who does League of Legends, a Swedish. Uh, voilà, he likes it. Okay, pas mal de questions. Um, Okay, someone asking. Uh, I'm gonna read it in French. Uh, on le voit souvent s'énerver en match et perdre son sang froid. Est-ce qu'il travaille dessus ou pas du tout? Uh, someone asking. The, someone saying. Um, we oftenly see you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, getting your nerves on uh, during a match. Um, and uh, sometimes you you lose your self control. Um, do you work on this or or not? Yeah, I mean it. Life, life is about uh, owning up to your mistakes and trying to improve yourself as a person. So, uh, so of course, the, that sometimes when I get uh, when I get nervous or when I get stressed, my uh, my emotions sometimes become um, my my actions come before my my mm -hmm. my emotions. So yeah, of course, this is uh, something I'm working on, and uh, it has improved so much in the last five years. Um, but of course, sometimes I still slip a little bit back into uh, into angry mode, and I do something that you should probably not have done. Okay, so do you have a, a psychologist or someone following you about this? No, I, I mean, of course, we have a sports psychologist, but but this is this is more a thing I'm working on myself because I I mean I am the person in the whole world who knows myself the best, and I. I believe I, I, if I keep going and trying to improve the way I'm doing now, it will, uh, it will for sure become even better. Okay. Uh, donc uh, évidemment, il, il sait que um, qu'il s'énerve encore un peu, que des fois, bah, il, ses, ses actions passent avant, euh, avant son le fait de réfléchir, quoi. Euh, et évidemment, qu'il travaille dessus, que ça a beaucoup, beaucoup euh, progressé depuis pas mal d'années. Euh, et voilà, il. Il dit que c'est la vie, qu'on est humain et des fois, bah, on ne contrôle pas tout ce qu'on fait. Quoi. Uh, <laughs> someone is asking your League of Legends ranking. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, well, la last season, I was master 350 LP. This doesn't make any sense to any of you, maybe except the guy who asked uh, the question. Yeah. <laughs> it's, he, it's, he said, it's, oh my it's, God. It's, yeah, it's quite good. It's not like very good, but it's quite good. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> They say, "Oh my God, that's not possible." Ma no, master, I mean, master two. <laughs> okay, the question is: My question is, are you better in table tennis or in League of Legends? I mean, of course, I'm better in table <laughs> tennis. Come on, like, what is this? <laughs> so, everything you. I wish, I wish I was better in League, because then you know, then <laughs> yeah, yeah, much, I could play, much uh, more money. Like, I, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, all right. Um, okay, let, let's do like I don't know one, two, three question maximum. We, we yeah, I mean I I don't have plans. Yeah, so it's okay. By the way. Okay, okay. Um, what is your favorite French food? I really like croque monsieur. Okay. I mean, so many times in the in the like after match, you know, I don't sleep so early. Maybe I sleep two, three in the in the night. And so many times before I sleep, I go in the reception and I take one croque monsieur and then I sleep so good. So, uh, <laughs> okay. so I, I have to pick that. Bah, voilà, son, sa nourriture française favorite, c'est le croque monsieur, les gars. Um, next question. Uh, next question is... Um, Uh, what are the differences you see between the French uh, training system and the and the Danish training system, uh, especially for the young people? I don't know if you get it. I, I know what you mean, mm -hmm. but in Denmark we don't have a training system for young people. We don't have any practice. Really? 
No, we we have nothing. We if our our best youth players are number one hundred in Europe. We don't have any like national team practice for young players. This is this is one of the things where I say table tennis in Denmark is down bad. We have no investment. We have nowhere for young players that want to become good. They don't have anywhere that they can become good. We have nothing. Okay, that's uh, that sucks actually. Yeah, we... Yeah, it's very sad. It's mm. very, very sad. Mm. Euh, donc, ils n'ont pas de, ils ont pas de centre d'entraînement pour les jeunes. Euh, c'est vraiment compliqué au, au Danemark. Je voyais ça un peu mieux structuré quand même. Euh, donc, euh, bah voilà, c'est très triste et c'est pour ça qu'il, bah, c'est une des raisons pour laquelle euh, forcément le, le ping danois ne brille pas. Donc, euh, okay, that's, that's, that's really sad because in France we have many, many centers. I mean, we. I know. Yeah. I know. We have good trainers and. We can't, we can't yeah. complain about that. Um, no, no. In, yeah. in, you're doing very well in France. Your mm. setups are nice. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, did you... That's, that's uh, my question, okay? Not someone's question. But sure. uh, we, everyone who loves table tennis, uh, I've been watching the Michael Mays match against Ao uh, in World Championship. Um, are you friends with Michael Mays? And, I mean, did you... Did you get? Uh, is he, he? I mean, was he inspiring you uh, during your your childhood? No, not really. I mean, I always I, I watched him when he played the big matches. I liked how he played because it was a little bit different. It was very service receive orientated and running forehands. But no, it's not really like I've ever been like inspired and uh, or seen him as something like that becoming him should be a mm -hmm. goal. This, I, this okay. I have not. But I know him very well now. We talk a lot. Sometimes he, he's in the hall. He's helping me and Jonathan with uh, with some things because he has so much to give, you know, because he was top player in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but I respect him a lot. I like him and I think he's a great person and player. Okay. Euh, donc j'ai demandé euh, ce qu'il avait été inspiré par Michael Mays et il a dit pas forcément quand il était jeune il a vu les matchs mais c'était pas un, un but à atteindre par contre bah, maintenant il est souvent dans le centre d'entraînement il, il, euh, ils ont beaucoup parlé ils, ils sont assez proches maintenant um, um, Have you already been uh, Ok, I, I, sorry I, I read it in French I'm, I'm tired to, to translate French and English euh, il a déjà pensé à son après carrière. Est-ce qu'il va essayer de changer le système d'Anoël et le faire évoluer? Uh, have you been thinking about your your time after your career? What can you do for a living? And uh, do you think you can change a little bit the, the Danish training system to get improved in the in the young people? I mean, firstly, I, I I want to work with table tennis all my life until I retire. If it's as a player or if it's as something as long as it's table tennis related I, i am happy with that and um so for sure i will try to become a coach after okay or or a youtuber <laughs> maybe <laughs> youtuber uh, this i don't know uh, and yeah actually after i after i stop playing myself it's of course in many many years hopefully but then i i would really like to give what i know i can offer to denmark to try and improve the the very poor system we have for our young table tennis players. Ok. Euh, donc, il a, il est, euh, bah, il a, c'est un amoureux du ping, hein, donc il veut travailler dans le ping-pong. Euh, donc, euh, pourquoi pas devenir, après, après euh, sa carrière, devenir pro ou, ou même euh, youtubeur. Et, euh, et euh, oui, s'il peut, évidemment, qu'il va aider le, le système danois à passer un cap euh, parce que voilà, c'est très pauvre ce qu'ils ont actuellement. Euh, je vais lui poser la question, euh, du coup, comment est-ce qu'ils s'entraînent Comment est-ce qu'ils est qu sont repérés Comment ils font pour, être, pour performer quand même Ok, ma, ma question est, si vous n'avez pas de jeunes training centers, comment vous guys, you know, par exemple, Michael Mays, ou vous, ou Jonathan, ou Tobias Rasmussen, il est danish aussi, comment vous improving Parce que vous avez un niveau très bon, pour être honnête, dans le niveau de la ranking. Yeah. I mean, Mace, Mace moved to Germany when he was 15 to Dusseldorf. So he moved away early from Denmark. Okay. Uh, me, I, I didn't practice table tennis when I was 14, 15, 16, 17. And then I moved to Germany when I was 17 and I started there again after some years break. Jonathan also moved to Germany when he was 16 and uh, Tobias also. 
So uh, the four best players Denmark has had in the last 25 years, we all moved out of Denmark as soon as we possibly could. That's how we improved. We were not in Denmark. Okay. Wow, that's really sad. Euh, donc il euh, bah voilà il dit que Michael Mez à 15 ans il est parti en Allemagne pour s'entraîner Jonathan Groth c'est pareil lui il s'est pas entraîné de ses 13 à ses 16 ans et du coup il a, il a dû aller au, en Allemagne aussi donc euh, tellement ils ont rien au Danemark en fait um, but, but uh, the, the paradox is um, you have now a training center in Copenhagen with good players uh, Antoine for example and Ibajo so you guys want to come back to Denmark right No, I mean we we have now a se like we have a senior practice for me and yeah. Jonathan and Juan, Ibe, Tobias, and we have also two other players, but they are already twenty, twenty two, twenty three years mm -hmm. old. So the practice for us grown ups and like already professional players, it's I believe it's very decent practice. But for the young ones, you know, between the age of ten to fifteen, th this is where I mean we we have nothing. Okay. Donc ouais, ils ont un centre d'entraînement pour les seniors, avec, on l'a dit tout à l'heure, Antoine Achard, euh, Ibrahim Adjo, euh, Rasmussen, euh, Jonathan Groth et, et Anders. Et, euh, et par contre, pour les jeunes, euh, sur les catégories voilà, de 10 à 16, 17, il bah, n'y a, y a vraiment rien. Quoi. Um, all right, Anders, I'm going to pick a last question, OK um, I'm going to choose it. Uh, I'm going to, I mean... Concentrate. What, what, wait, did Felix? Felix needs to ask no, a question. No, I, I, I didn't see anything. Felix, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Felix, uh, Alexi, les amis, c'est maintenant. Uh, I didn't I'm, see I'm any question. I think they, uh, I don't, I think they, they left the, the live chat. Oh, I'm gonna text him. <laughs> All right, okay, just we wait for him. I texted him now. <laughs> nice. Ah, wait, you, you can't see or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Never Felix or Alex are on live stream. Oh. Nice try. Ah, he owes me. It's fine. You can find another one. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Um, okay. You know what, uh, Anders? Um, I will ask you last question, and I will uh, just uh, I will just um, announce to everyone uh, I have a new guest uh, next next week after you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say everyone in French. Uh, donc les amis, j'ai un. Je profite qu'on soit nombreux, qu'on soit 100 J'ai un, un prochain invité lundi prochain. Uh, pardon, dimanche prochain. Ça uh, sera en anglais aussi. Donc un. Um, oh, okay, Anders. Actually, Alexi asked me a question for for you, Alexi Lebrun, Good. on Instagram. Bring okay, it. wait. I, I'm finishing in French, then I ask you. Um, All right. Donc, on a um, un nouvel invité uh, dimanche prochain, donc le 19 mai. Et les amis, ça sera en anglais aussi. Uh, je vous le dis là parce que uh, vous avez été nombreux, vous êtes restés uh, sur uh, sur l'interview, ça régale. On aura les amis, on aura, on aura, on aura Liam Pitchford, les amis. Donc le joueur anglais euh, qui viendra sur, sur la chaîne dimanche prochain, 21h. Euh, ça va être incroyable. Donc même format avec traduction, etc. Donc vous, vous, vous inquiétez pas si vous ne parlez pas trop anglais. Um, so uh, next, next week, we have uh, Liam Pitchford, you know, on, on this channel. So, nice. Yeah, that's He's really very cool. nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, okay, the question of Alexi. Um, I'm opening Instagram. Hold on. For sure, it's something with strawberry, you know, back and slide. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna wait. Let me find the English word for this. Um, you know, I um, one night I have been live streaming on Twitch about uh, table tennis, and I, I've been doing um. A star player like uh, who has the best uh, forehand in all time? Who has the best backhand in all time? Who has the best uh, physical condition in all time? Um, so he he wanna um, uh, he he wanna I mean he wanted you to answer this, uh, but it's really long because we have many many options. Um, so the question is, who do you think has the best forehand in all time, and who do you think has the best backhand? A long in all by time? far. 
Malung, forehand? Yeah, for sure. Okay. What about backhand? Zangike. Zangike? Okay. Donc, ouais, ok. I, I, I'm translating in French for Alexi. Donc, le meilleur coup droit de tous les temps pour lui, c'est évidemment Malong. Et, euh, et le meilleur revers, Zangik. Voilà, voilà. Euh, oh, ok, ok. I, I have to ask you this question and then we finished. Um, how did you. Why, why and how did you improve your strawberry shot? I, I, I can explain you as many ask me this question. Yeah, I, I, know. I, I have answered this a lot of times. I have never practiced it one time in my life before I started using it. It was the first time I used it was in this league match against Satyan. I, I'm guessing you've seen the point mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. Mores where I make one, two and he plays directly there. Yeah. This was the first time ever I made it. And then I was like, that, that shot is quite easy to make. I should make that sometimes. And now I just do it when I feel the, the situation is right. I, I still don't practice it. It, it I, I don't know how to say it. From It just feels easy. I mean, to do this shot. It feels very easy. Okay. Not for everyone, but yeah. okay. <laughs> no, no, I know. I mean, I don't want to sound like an arrogant idiot. But, but for me, like when, when the ball is right and I really go for it, I feel it's hard to miss, really. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, okay, uh, I promise. Last question because, okay, I, I can't. I can't forget it. Last, last question, Anders. Um, uh, let me explain it um, in French. Je vais lui poser la question. Uh, J'ai vu dans le chat. Merci um, du fait de s'encourager sur les filets et sur les bords. Okay. Ceux qui me connaissent, voilà. Moi, pour moi, on devrait être capable de. Enfin, on devrait pouvoir s'encourager sur les filets et sur les, et sur les bords sans que ça soit problématique. Um, you know, you know, we have um, a rules. Uh, in table tennis, not a, not a, an official rules, but it's a rule uh, that when you uh, do a, a net or um, or lucky shot on the table, you have to apologize yourself. Um, yeah. As far as I am concerned, my my point of view is that, uh, like in Asia, in China, for example, they don't apologize themselves, and I think I think it's good because, uh, for example, on on in in football. When um, when a kickoff, uh, you know, when there is a goal, uh, for example, and it's it's shooting the um, I don't know how to say it rebound. Yeah, rebound. rebound thank you. Um, I mean, the player is just enjoying the moment. Yeah. Um, I, I think we can do it uh, um, as well in in table tennis, and it's it's gonna skip many many problems. Uh, and you can enjoy the moment. For example, when Alexi uh, was winning against Fan Zendong. On a, on a on a lucky shot at the end of the match, maybe you remember it. He he wasn't yeah, yeah he wasn't enjoying the moment. So what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean I I see where you're coming from, and and I I agree this could totally change because also if you look at it from a different point of view, you can only hit the edge if you play very wide. Mm -hmm. You can only hit the net if you play low over the net. So players who are playing low over the net and have good arc on their shots are going to get more nets and edges. So it's not only luck, it is also skill. So I believe that, uh, that yeah, it's not necessary to apologize. Now it's just standard. It's just, it's good etiquette to apologize and uh, everyone is doing it. So, mm. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it as well then, you know? Yeah, of course. Me too. Okay, okay. Euh, donc il, bah, il comprend euh, mon point de vue et euh, effectivement euh, il est euh, d'accord que ça pourrait euh, changer pas mal de choses et en plus il rajoute que euh, quand il y a un bord ou un filet euh, c'est pas que euh, de la chance c'est aussi de, de la technique parce que bah, voilà, si tu joues beaucoup en courbe ou si tu joues très proche du filet bah, tu vas être plus enclin à, à faire des filets ou des bords Anders, thank you very much uh, man it was really interesting and I really enjoyed the moment so thanks a lot dude um hi we hope the best for you okay i'm gonna um, i'm gonna share you your instagram people gonna follow you um, yeah you don't have to it's okay <laughs> uh, we do it we do it but 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 go subscribe to my youtube because i'm making video about this illegal surf so, uh, let's go. Uh, I, I'm, okay i'm gonna comment this right you will see my name on the youtube video good <laughs> all right Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, thank you, man, for coming. It was really cool. Um, I hope you, you can make some good matches, some good Olympic games. 
Maybe we can see thank because you. I will be there. Maybe you can see each other. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Come say hi. Of course. And uh, thanks again. Uh, ok, just, right. yeah, two minutes in French, Anders. Um, ok, les amis, je... on va dire au revoir, Anders. Uh, je mets le stream en pause, je reviens, ok on va, on va parler de l'interview et de plein de choses. Donc, restez là, je mets le stream en pause, je dis au revoir, Anders. Ok, et je vous dis à tout de suite. Uh, je mets un peu de musique. Ne bougez pas, les amis. Allez, à tout de suite. <musique>